Hi, today we are going to discuss about how to build trust with decadent customers using tactical empathy. One of my sales coaching, Michael, lamented that he could not build deeper relationships with one of his customers, while he could gain trust by helping to resolve this customer's business and technical challenges. He just could not get into the inner circle of the customer and foster deeper relationships. As such, he could not find out what are the potential business that could be in the pipeline for this customer or what the customer's deeper concerns are. While the customer led a more decadent lifestyle and frequently visited nightclubs and KTVs along, along with his suppliers, Michael is a family man and avoids certain forms of customer entertainment. Besides, the salesperson's company's compliance policies also forbids Michael from bringing the customer uh, to nightclubs and KTVs. So the, the customer then felt that since Michael could not and did not hang out with him uh, at these entertainment venues, there seemed to be a lack of common language outside of work. Hence, the mutual feeling of having distance between them. So how do you be empathetic without agreeing with the customer? The term tactical empathy was coined by former FBI negotiator Chris Voss and is defined as the process of knowingly and intentionally influ influencing your counterpart's emotions to make deals you demonstrate that you recognize the other side's perspective and can articulate in a strategic, even proactive manner, even when you don't like the perspective or don't agree with them at all. After some coaching, we came to the conclusion that Michael did not need to be decadent to build rapport with this customer. Uh, Michael did not even need to judge uh, the customer based on the latter's lifestyle preferences. All Michael needed to do was to practice tactical empathy and be a good listener. Through our coaching sessions with Michael, we know uh, that this customer loves to talk about his exploits in these entertainment venues. So Michael decided why not simply let the cus customer brag about these exploits and listen attentively. Michael would then visit the customer and ask the customer about a recent visit uh, the customer made at the nightclub. And the customer began to go into great details about his exploits. Michael would then listen attentively and ask questions to clarify and even show genuine interest in what the customer said for the next 15 to 30 minutes. Through it all, there wasn't any discussion about business uh, business issues yet. However, the customer began to open up and communicated a lot more with Michael. The subsequent business dis discussions became a lot more smoother and deeper. Perhaps um, what Michael did made the customer felt respected and appreciated. Perhaps uh, he felt that Michael is someone he could talk to, whatever it was, the rapport between the customer and the salesperson improved. Michael, on the other hand, didn't have to step uh, into um, the entertainment venues that a customer is going, and he didn't have to go uh, work in ways that he didn't want or couldn't do. You need to refrain from making judgment or even giving advice. One thing to note about applying tactical empathy in such situations is to refrain from making judgments. While the salesperson might disagree or even frown upon the customer's lifestyle, it is important that the salesperson don't pass judgment, uh, but maintain curiosity about what the customer is doing or thinking or saying. In this case, Michael found out later that this customer had some deeper personal issues. The decadent lifestyle was merely an escape for the customer from those personal challenges. Once again, Michael didn't do much apart from showing empathy. After all, 
those personal issues that the customer were facing were too complicated and out of scope for the salesperson to give any advice anyway. Michael told the customer, sounds like you have a lot of issues to handle. Sorry, I can't help much, but thank you for sharing with me. To which the customer replied, no need to say sorry and thank you for listening. It was a situation where the customer trusted the salesperson enough to show his vulnerable side to the salesperson. When we trust someone more, we are less defensive about our weaknesses and vulnerabilities. In this case, this salesperson won a high level of trust from the customer by drinking tea and not booze and by being an empathetic listener. As such, the key to building strong customer relationships is to build trust at both the business and personal levels. The key to building trust at both levels is to be empathetic. While it could be more challenging to build trust with some customers than others, Demonstrating empathy is usually the first step to developing stronger customer relationships. My name is CJ. I'm a coach, facilitator, and consultant who works with management and sales teams and helping companies achieve better results through your people. You can reach me at the LinkedIn link below. Thank you for listening. And please drop me a line if you would like to get some help. Thank you.